I'd like to introduce you to the latest addition to the family. Right here. It's a little cowfish. Probably inch, inch and a half in length. Really cute little guy, really unique. Um, I thought about getting a cowfish for quite a while now. But I never actually got to do it because they have a reputation of giving off a toxin when they die or when they're really stressed. Now, after some research, I discovered that cowfish is uh, part of the boxfish family and is actually less prone to give off a toxin compared to other kind of boxfish. And that when they die, they don't actually give off a toxin. It's only when they're really stressed, and that's really rare. Now, other downsides of having a cowfish in a reef tank is that you can pretty much say goodbye to all your fanworms because it's going to pick them clean. And the cowfish might sample like all kinds of corals especially the meaty ones but uh, since mostly I have like soft corals that grow pretty fast and I have quite a bit of them so I don't really mind and I figure like you know what time's right Let's give it a try another thing to keep in mind of cowfish is that they actually grow really big I think they grow to about 18 inches in length so this guy right here just a tiny baby my tank 65 gallon tank which it will eventually outgrow when that happens I have to either trade them or just give them away oh it's cool see what it's doing right now is that it's actually blowing water on sand oh never mind not anymore but yeah they'll blow water on sand to like blow the sand apart this way you can find uh, invertebrates hiding among the sand and make, make a snack out of them. Alright, there he goes again. So later on, once they get used to like captivity, what what usually happens is that they'll go actually go to service. They go to service of water and start like blowing water to the owner as a way to like get the attention and get food out of them. Pretty neat little guy. I was actually kind of worried that the current in this tank might be a little bit too strong for this little little guy. But uh, it's doing alright. It comes close to like some of the power heads. I was really worried that it might get sucked in. But uh, it fought the current really well. I was pretty impressed. And now the unique thing about these kind of fish is that you can actually swim backward as well. So that's pretty neat.